there are a few central symbols in the poem The Raven, and the first is the raven itself. Edgar Allan Poe wrote in his essay, The Philosophy of Composition, that the raven is the primary symbol in his poem. Ravens were often viewed as harbingers of death, evil, and the supernatural. The speaker is lost in grieving remembrance of Lenore when the raven appears, and he supposes the bird is a symbolic messenger from the afterlife on behalf of his lost love. Ravens were viewed as messengers, especially in Norse mythology, where two ravens that served Odin, the father of the Nordic gods, were called thought and memory. Likewise, the thinking speaker tortures himself with memories of his lost Lenore. The raven could be a brooding physical manifestation of those memories. When the speaker asks the raven for assurance that he will see Lenore in heaven, the raven tells him, nevermore. The narrator plunges into madness. Death is truly the end. The raven also symbolizes the unconscious or the unknowable. The speaker is a scholar, a man of facts and logic. He is rationality, a sense of reality and identity. Flying in from a dark storm at midnight, the raven represents the unknown. The speaker attempts to reason with the bird, explaining its presence at his window and its ability to speak, but his reason ultimately fails him. Another important symbol is the bust of Pallas Athena. Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom and battle strategy, is a patron of scholars. Her bust represents the rational mind and logical thought. The raven lands and perches atop the bust, placing itself above reason and logic. As the speaker attempts to ascertain the raven's presence in his room through reasonable questions, readers can see him growing more and more unstable with every answer of nevermore. In the final stanza, the raven sits atop the bust of Athena, symbolizing order overthrown by chaos as the grieving speaker succumbs to the irrational power of the unknown. Additionally, the bust of Athena is made of marble or some other pale stone, and the raven is a jet black bird. We see the contrast between light and dark, white and black, day and night, life and death, sanity and madness. Dualities as forces that pull at the reader and sustain the effect of the poem. Pluto is another key symbol. Pluto is the Roman god of wealth in the underworld, and the speaker mentions that the raven could have come from night's Plutonian shore. This ties into the idea of ravens being messengers or harbingers of death or ill omens. When the speaker rages at the raven for getting an answer he does not like with prophet still if bird or devil, he links the raven to the underworld by calling it just that. Ancient Greeks and Romans did not have a Christian hell, but they did believe in a level of punishment in the underworld that functioned like hell. And the raven here might be, like Pluto, its representative. 